Russia reporting new Ukrainian drone attacks inside its borders for the fourth straight day. Now, officials say air defences intercepted one drone headed towards Moscow overnight, as you can see from this map showing some recent targets. This part of a, an apparent new effort by Ukraine beyond its borders. Now, Ukrainian intelligence says a drone strike on an airbase deep inside Russia earlier this week was launched from inside that country. The Kremlin isn't commenting on that claim. But we're learning a lot from the skies over the two countries today, including the damage that strike did to the planes you see at this Russian airbase. And new perspective on the battlefield. This Ukrainian security service video, shared exclusively with CNN, shows just how entrenched Russia is on the front lines south of Zaporizhia. Fighters refer to these defences as, quote, dragon teeth. Kyiv says its troops, though, are making some progress. Well, a short time ago, Ukraine's foreign minister sat down with my colleague Christian Amonport in Kyiv, where he addressed criticism of Ukraine's counter-offensive. If, if Ukraine was failing, I would probably be the first one to, to speak the truth. But we are not failing. We are moving forward. We, we liberated dozens of square kilometers of our land through minefields with no air coverage. How does it feel when you come back from your mission and you take back your phone, you open it, and you start reading all these smart people saying how slow, how slow you are and that you are not, you are not doing well enough? You just lost two of your bodies. You were almost killed. You crawled one kilometer on your belly, demining the field. You sacrificed yourself. You took the damn Russian trench in a fierce fight. And then you read someone saying, oh, guys, you are too slow. Mm. Ukrainian Foreign Minister speaking to Christian earlier. CNN's Nada Bashir joins me now live. Um, the foreign minister there uh, speaking to the progress of the counter-offensive on the ground. I do want to take a look at these drone strikes that we've been reporting. What can we learn from what both sides are saying at this point? Well, look, Becky, we're certainly seeing a shift in Ukraine's military strategy, a real emphasis and focus now on drone warfare. We've certainly seen a sharp uptick over recent weeks on the use of these drones, not only in Russian occupied territories in Ukraine, but crucially in Russian territory attacks against Russian targets. Now, it is important to note that Ukraine typically does not claim responsibility for attacks on Russian territory. In fact, we've heard from officials earlier in the week saying that they do not use weapons supplied by their international partners to attack Russian territory, that they're acting purely within a defensive framework. But this is certainly sending a clear message to Russia, and this is uh, clearly becoming a key part of Ukraine's strategy. Now, as you mentioned there, today has been no exception. We've seen in the morning, according to the mayor of Moscow, yet another attempted drone attack on the capital in the southern Kursk region. Uh, one drone is reported to have caused some some minimal damage to a non-residential building. And of course, this comes in a week in which we've seen the biggest drone assault on Russian territory uh, across various regions since the beginning of the war in Ukraine. So this is certainly a blow to Russia's military efforts and particularly a blow to the optics that Russia is trying to present in terms of their progress uh, on the front lines. You mentioned that airbase, which was targeted on Tuesday night, four military aircrafts were damaged in that attack. In fact, according to the head of Ukraine's Defense Intelligence Service, two of the those planes were completely destroyed, the other two sustaining serious damage. These are military transport vehicles. So this is a huge blow to the logistical front for uh, Russia, but again, a significant blow in terms of optics. Now, what we have learned today from the head of Ukraine's Defense Intelligence Service is that this attack is reported to have taken place from within Russian territory. So that is a key development there. Uh, we have seen that question put to the Kremlin spokesperson, Dmitry Peskov. He denied to comment on this, referred to the Russian Ministry of Defense, but clearly we're seeing progress on that front uh, by the Ukrainian armed forces. This is certainly a huge focus. We're seeing a real emphasis now on the local domestic development and manufacturing of drones. So this is like to continue to play a key part in Ukraine's military efforts.